What up, my people? Hope everybody's having themselves a good day today. Uh, uh, right off the bat, if my dogs bark, there's nothing I can do about it. I do apologize. Um, do me a favor, hit that like button down there. That would be very, very appreciated, or very much appreciated. Uh, also, make sure you check out dnknives.com. Great website, good people. They also have their own YouTube channel, uh, Mr. Don Farmer. Uh, go check him out. And also, use this coupon code behind the edge 10 on the website and get yourself 10% off. If you would like to support the channel, there's a link to Patreon in the description. Or you can join the My People channel membership where 100% of all the funds that come through either of those go to Knives for Content and for Giveaways. Uh, yeah, that's it. Today, we're going to talk about uh, Guardian Tactical Recon 35, which, in my opinion, is uh, probably the best out the front I have ever tried. Um, just as a uh, comparison, I have a couple other out the fronts here I'm going to lay right there. But this, in my opinion, is just hands down better than both of those and any other out the front I've ever tried. And I've had uh, I've had a Navy Scarab in my life. I had the original Makora. I've had lots and lots and lots of excellent out the fronts. And I'll let you know why I think this is the best. Um, pound for pound. So we have a 3.3 inch L Max blade, which is, yeah, looks like it's correct. I just pulled this information off of the website. Uh, aluminum chassis, as usual, uh, steel clip, um, aluminum button. Let me move these so they don't, I don't drop this thing and end up beating on them. Um, this particular one is a Tanto with a heavy stone wash and a red anodized handle. We have very minimal markings on there. It says Recon 35 there. has a couple patent numbers, which I do not care for, and that's probably uh, the only thing I don't particularly care for on this knife. And it says Guardian Tactical there, and that is pretty much it. Oh, it says L Max on the blade. Yeah, that's it. Uh, so Guardian Tactical has been around for a long time. Uh, excellent company, USA company, um, with a great reputation for quality, uh, stellar customer service. From what I hear, I don't know that for sure, but that's what I hear. Um, they used to also make really sick folders as well, but I think now that they mainly focus on out the fronts. Again, I don't know that for 100% fact. I did try to do some research. I couldn't find it any folders that they were currently making um and they're not just cut and paste out the fronts you know all out the fronts are going to have that general standard look to them but these have a lot more going on with them than just your standard uh deal uh, they have made some advances in the style and uh they hold a few patents as you see right there um we're going to do this on a pros and cons basis. Uh, not that there's a lot of cons. Uh, first, useful blade. Very useful blade. We have a dual grind. We have a um, flat grind uh, primary. And then on the Tanto tip is a very, very deep hollow. Which is such a cool idea in my opinion. Uh, makes this tip very, very aggressively sharp um so i would not recommend doing any prying or anything like that i wouldn't do recommend doing that any freaking way but um that will make the tip slightly less uh durable but it will absolutely penetrate don juan style um number second thing hands down 100 percent the best action ever period of any out the front I have ever handled very little amounts of pressure needed but there's no danger of it going off in your pocket um, it's so smooth so perfect um, that it's it's mind-boggling so in the button here or under the button however you want to look at it there is uh, first you have this stainless steel strike plate here but it also has bearings so there's zero um, friction when you're pushing the button like this. 
you got to really give it some force. Plus, you can feel the friction in there. Um, when you're deploying this one, you can feel that it is uh, has bearings. I don't know any other way to explain that. Sorry, I'm not very uh, articulate today. But and even on this one, I have to really wrap my finger around it to get it to uh, retract. This guy here is just absolutely effortless. And you don't have a chance of really opening in your pocket because you still need to push the full distance before it, yeah, catches. So in my opinion, and I believe that's where the patents are on this knife is in the button itself and the deployment. Um, you can just look those up if you want to see what the exact... Yeah, if I yeah, if you really feel like doing some retarded shit like that. Uh, second, as usual, just like pretty much any other um, out the front, the ergos are great, and they're they're great on all of them, and it's just the nature of the way they are built, and the and the handle shape. So that's that's not really a uh, a shocker there. Um, next, the cool factor of this guy is. Just right, right up there with the very, very high end out the fronts. Um, I think the combination of the clip, the uh, blade shape, and the fact that the action is just bananas, I think that just elevates the cool factor for me um, quite a bit. Uh, reliability is crazy. Um, I have never even heard of anyone telling or saying that their recon ever misfired i am sure they have um but i've never heard of such a thing so the reliability is absolutely spot on um also i like this fuller here all the way down it just lightens the the knife itself helps with the balance because typically out the fronts are uh, not very well balanced this one's doing just fine um, the build quality is fantastic. We do have T6 screws, which is not the greatest thing in the world. But you can tell the build quality is excellent. Um, just overall. this uh, The fact that this um, clip is kind of canted to, or, yeah, is up along the uh, top of the spine does not really hamper it going in and out of your pocket at all. I did think it was kind of odd. I prefer a clip to be centered but it doesn't affect it at all. And the Recon 40, which is the bigger model, basically the same knife, just bigger, um, the clip is dead center. Um, next thing, price, $280. That is the same price as this Chinese, uh, much larger knife. Way cheaper than the Heretic um, Cleric or any other Heretic that I'm aware of. And uh, it's right on par with like the Kershaw Livewire. So to me, $280 is just a fantastic price for a 100% USA made quality out the front. Um, yeah. Next, many, many versions. There's many colors and blade shapes and blade finishes and all kinds of different uh, options for this as there is typically with um, most out the fronts, but you're, you're, you're almost certain to find one that is exactly what you want. Uh, typically, me personally, I like just a standard drop point, but uh, this Tanto, uh, I'm really digging. Uh, Tanto is not my favorite um, blade shape by a long shot, but this one I'm really digging because of the, the nature of it. Um, and that's the last of the pros. The cons are pretty much non-existent. Not a big fan of this lanyard hole back here. Um, I'm not a fan of the T6 screws. But other than that, there's just nothing to, to talk shit about on this knife. It is just pretty much freaking perfect. Um, I love it. Let me know down in the comments how you feel about this knife. Do you have one? How has it held up for you? And most importantly, has it ever failed? Have you ever been able to fail it? Um, I know these are illegal in a lot of places, and a lot of people don't watch the out-the-front videos um, that I put out. 
but I really like this particular one and I like out the fronts in general and I'm starting to like them more and more. Um, they're not practical really. Uh, there's, you know, so many things you can do with a folder that you cannot or a fix that you can, just can't do with these. But they have a cool factor and I, I enjoy the engineering of them. So anyway, that's all I got for you guys on this one. That's the Recon 35. Uh, Mr. Don Farmer has quite a few of these. He even has a Recon 40 as of the time of this uh, uploading this video. So if you're interested in that or one of these, go check them out on DNK. Use the coupon code. Get yourself 10% off and uh, support a, a great dude. All right, guys, that's all I got for you. Make sure you're good to each other. Love each other. And remember, life is short. So go buy yourself a knife. Later.